Hello Grade 5! You have just studied the Human Reproductive System. In this chapter, we will deal with some animals and how they reproduce. Animals completely possess complicated reproductive parts and they differ on how they are produced as well. Just like in humans, it is also through reproduction that the characteristics of genetic materials are transferred from parents to offspring. And it is in this process that reproductive system takes into action. Reproductive systems of animals have two divisions. First are the internal reproductive organs, where the gametes or reproductive cells of some animals are usually produced in the gonads. And the external genitalia where the phallus of male animals and the vulva of females are included in the major organs of the reproductive system. So, to study the reproductive systems of some animals, let us begin with the birds. The reproductive system of birds includes the sex organs and a series of tubes or ducts which act as passages for the sex cells that are produced within the organs. Both male and female birds have a cloaca. Cloaca is a single opening referred to as the vent and it serves as their body's exit for their digestive, urinary, and reproductive system. And it is also where the eggs are laid. What is shown is a parrot laying her eggs. The two organs responsible for producing the egg and sperm cells in fish are the ovaries and testes respectively. However, a few species of fish are hermaphrodites meaning they possess both male and female reproductive organs in only one individual. Fertilization in most species of frogs happens externally instead of inside the body of the female. Some species of frogs leave their eggs after fertilization. Other species carry their eggs with them while others lay their eggs in dry areas. In dogs, the active reproductive organs in male include the testicles, vas deferens, prostate gland, and other parts of its anatomy. While the female dogs have the ovaries that release egg cells into their oviduct. They also have the placenta that provides nourishment to the puppies while they are in the uterus. Just like humans, the most important reproductive organs of cats includes the female's ovaries and the male's testes. Mature female cats have estrous cycles which indicate that they are ready to reproduce. 
menstrual cycle is the reproductive cycle in female cats. When a male and a female butterfly of the same species are ready to reproduce, they undergo the process of courtship where the male releases pheromones to attract the female. Pheromones are chemicals produced by butterflies through their exocrine glands. Once the female butterfly has agreed to mate, the male butterfly attaches onto the female and deposits spermatophores into the reproductive sac of the female butterfly. This is called the bursa. Then, the female butterfly stores the sperm in the bursa until it is time to lay eggs. In mosquitoes, the male finds a mate by listening to the sound of the wings of females. Mosquitoes mate while flying. Once the male has deposited sperm into the female's reproductive organ, the female will suck blood either from animals or humans to develop eggs. Female mosquitoes could lay at least 100 eggs per batch and could lay at least 3 batches of eggs after mating once. Summing up learning concepts, let us note that the organ that produces sperm in animals is also called testes. The ovary is also the organ where egg cells are produced. The egg cell is the female reproductive cell in animals. And the sperm cell is the male reproductive cell. As we end up our lesson for today, always remember that we are stewards of God's creations. Do not disturb mother animals when they are nursing their young. And most importantly, let us always show our love and care for the animals around us.